Kira, whatever the heck. <laughs> hey guys, we back. Your favorite podcast is back. <laughs> Dead. Hey. Howdy. Howdy. We are well, yeah, that's actually appropriate because Western episode. What's it called? Stress Western, which is a stress Western. Stress. And you know what? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Literally. About that. Oh <laughs> but you know what? every like honestly out of all the westerns i've done name a bad one name a bad western episode like this is you know what this is very true i agree like they always turn it out when they do this and i always love coming back because i'm like oh here we go baby doing it again you know what how many times can we go back (laughs) how many times can we go back to the wild west you know like i don't know but i don't care because we're having fun and you know what they do exactly. it every time so I I, it's like a season like it's not a real season unless you go you know to the wild west you know exactly it's not a legends right. episode if you don't go to the wild west at least once a season let's be on there yeah. and you know they did not i was kind of surprised that they didn't go they normally go to whatever that place is called with what's his face you know who i'm talking about jonah hex yeah. wow oh, i don't know yeah. where i pulled that name out of Woo um but they did not go there they in fact went to a different place and i was like okay okay you know i i wanted to see a little high from jonah but that's fine that's fine whatever we'll forgive because we had yeah. Giggle. well another True. alternate version we had Giggle. yeah david ramsey which was very cool so you know what i'm like he was in batwoman too right i think so yeah and i think Everybody. it's flash next week this week next week all right, go off. And I think he's going to be in Supergirl, right? I think yeah. so. I think it's episode 12 with Ozzy. I'm oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We talked about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, gonna be fun. that's not for a minute, though, right? Because we got up to seven. Yeah, it's not for another. I think it airs in September, I think. Mm. The episode. I don't know. I'm just excited for episode 12, The Queen. Oh, Ozzy's coming. Oh, He's coming I'm for so us. Anyway. But, um, anyway, legends. <laughs> the wrong show. We'll save it for the Super God podcast. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually I didn't know what to expect from this episode because I was like, okay, like Ava and Sarah have been gotten engaged. They're fiancés, as they should. I was mm-hmm. like, how are they going to, like, you know, she obviously Sarah hadn't told Ava yet that she was a hybrid alien, you know, clone. Yeah. Before, yeah. But yeah. we told her like straight away. I was like, go off. I loved oh, that. It was I love that change. Of pace. Yeah. I love that change. It was pace. like at first <laughs> it was like she was like, mm, and she was like, so I'm a clone and I also died and I'm also not here and all blah blah blah. And it was just like, uh, human, I, human, and then it uh, cut human, to like, legends. I was like, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. That was so funny. I love it. I didn't I I knew that like it wouldn't have been long for Sarah to tell Ava because, like, obviously, how can you not tell Ava? Like, you would have yeah. to tell her at some point. Yeah. I'm glad it was, like, at the beginning because, like, how do you keep that shit a secret for, like, you can't. Yeah. And this, yeah. Ava's like, what? Like, it's, <laughs> like, girls like, what? Say that again? Like, repeat that? Yeah. Like, are you what? Um, yeah. It was good. I'm glad Ava knew. And I kind of glad that, like, the team didn't know yet. Like, she's like, let's just not tell the team yet. Let's just, like, keep it low key. Because, like, every one time normal say, mission. Yeah. You know? They always say that one normal mission, but it never ends up being normal. It's like, yeah, where? going to get out. Because I knew in the promo that Sarah gets shot and, like, it's had, you know, some of that shooter or whatever. And, mm-hmm. like, it looked like she was just walking towards them, bulletproof them. So I knew that there was. Yeah, some kind of powers there, so I'm like, oh, she's mm-hmm. about to be exposed. Nah. But you know what? I really I liked that. Her. I like that we didn't tell the legends immediately, just because it gives us that little secret for the episode. You know, it's just mm-hmm. a fun little. Not forever, obviously. That would be too dramatic. Like, no, we're already past that. But I like that we just 
had a little, ooh, something's hiding. Ooh, Sarah, when are you going to, ooh, Sarah. Yeah. You know, little thing. And uh, there, so this concept is so weird. I don't, so like they go to the Wild West. I forgot, why did they go exactly? Was there like a reason? I think it was an alien. There was like an alien um, there. Yeah. <laughs> the one that like wow. came out of the ground when they got angry. Yeah, but like, did they know why they were going? Like, I guess I they detected know. an alien, I'm assuming. I think they must have yeah. detected it. Oh, yeah. how funny. Oh, we didn't even, how funny was it when Spooner was sensing Sarah's like alien powers? Oh my and gosh. Sarah thought it was Gary. She was like, they were trying to like, why does Gary want to jump was, into his bones? I'm deceased. That was, was so like, smart. I love how they did that. It was so smart. I, know. Gary, I was like, like that point, I'm like, it? oh shit. She's gonna keep sensing Sarah, but thinking it's mm-hmm. Gary. And I'm just yeah. like, oh, this is just gonna get so messy. I'm here for it. I'm here yeah. for it. It was a clever concept. I liked how they did that. It was cute. Gary's just like what i don't and everyone's like gary you cut it out man he's just like uh, okay <laughs> he does I not know, know what's going like, on also the constant green content i received in this episode listen when i'm telling you that hey. just solidified me getting back on the constantine and and, and gary ship yeah they should have done it back. i'm back on the train i don't care I was like, I'm missing. Didn't we say last week? I was like, oh, I'm kind of missing there, you know, John, John and mm-hmm. Gary. Like, I'm missing it. Bam, the rides are like, let me serve you, bitch. Let oh, me yeah. Serve you. They always know. As soon as you're like, oh, man, they're like, here, you know what? Yeah. We sensed it. And we I ship it. Like, I ship it so hard. Sorry, Zari. They, they should have sh- done it. I ship Listen, it. as you guys have come to know, we're not the biggest Constantine and Zari shippers that exist. Okay. Mm-hmm. It seems like every episode that goes on, we just are more and more anti Zarian <laughs> But when there's so many, in my opinion, better, more fun options out there, like how you come on, like Gary, whatever. Anyway, you already know. Uh, so they go to the Wild West, right? Whatever town this is, and they get to the saloon. <laughs> and everyone's just like really nice yeah. and like chill like they thought they're gonna have like a classic bar fight you know as it happens mm. um and everyone's just like oh that was a good one good yeah go on in it's just like <laughs> what like what so excuse me so good somehow the show also like always has a way to like do something unexpected where you're like man this show is just wild i don't know what to think but like as soon as you try and start trying to like piece together something they're just like no (laughs) yeah 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 this one it's so (laughs) weird who would have like why just a really 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 nice town in the wild west you Which know is suspicious. Like, what? it's like what the hell's going on you know yeah very weird but like so obviously we're investigating because this isn't right um obviously as we've come to know um at first i thought one of the people was the alien so you know i was yeah. trying to figure out like is it that guy from the bar that was being a little sus is it Mr. Diggle, whatever his name is that I forgot, as the sheriff or whatever yeah, investigator. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, him with this mustache. Wasn't just... one of? Wasn't the? I think the sheriff. Wasn't the sheriff Jess's husband in real life? Yeah. And then yeah, I found I out that Tala's boyfriend is the guy who plays Bishop. Yes. What? <laughs> I swear, I was so confused on my life because, and then the guy, uh, one of the like girls in the saloon was the guy, uh, Dominic's girlfriend, like the one who plays Rory, like his girlfriend in real life. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? I swear to God, Tala. What the heck? The- oh my god! I'm telling you, uh, that is so. I'm insane. telling you. What do you mean? <gasps> Whoa. That's 
I'm pretty sure someone. Oh, what's his What's his name? I'm trying to find his name now. Um. Um. Oh my gosh, I forgot. No. Name, what's his name. I saw a photo. Someone's like, yeah, that's she's dating him or like. So I don't know what. I don't know. Hold on. I'm gonna find it because now I need to know. If I don't find it, I'm gonna go crazy. We do this every single episode. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah literally no honestly episode. this is the one edit that i make like normally like nathan's like why don't you just do these live i'm like because we always end up having to look something up and you know what like this it's is just true, like you know. these awkward these awkward pauses of just sitting here like yeah adam figure it out and i'm just like mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh i love that stop it legit that's him we've had a beard yeah no crazy right i didn't recognize him. I'm like, what the fuck because i didn't recognize him for the beard well see that's weird that's the opposite well not opposite actually because the one time i've really seen jess's boyfriend who i think is now fiance oh yeah she just announced that and then that yeah yeah so yeah, yeah 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 um the one time i saw him he had this really big beard And everyone I've talked to, everyone's like, what? I've never seen him with a beard. What are you talking about? So, like, I was trying to figure out at the beginning of the episode. I'm like, which one is he? Because I don't know what he looks like without a beard. I was like, I've only seen this man, like, one time. Like, I don't know. And I figured, yeah, he'd be that guy. But, like, oh, my gosh, Bishop and Dominic's whatever girlfriend. is it? What the? That's, Wow. It was, wow. I was like fully shocked. I was like, holy crap. Who Legends have- said, Legends was like, let bring me, them let me in. Fa- let me bring the family. They're like, yeah. Let's just save on the COVID budget and just like get all the, you know, partners no, in. Literally. God bless. Honestly, I stand. Oh my gosh. I wonder if that has anything at all to do with it. That'd be really funny if it did. Like, if that's they're just, like living it's with just funny. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was so cool. Like, I don't know. It was, that is really was, cool. It was uh, when I felt fa- ugly uh, because I do my reactions, some or most of them like live, mm. my religions now do live. Like people in the chat were like, "Yeah, Tyler's dating," and I thought Jess was dating the guy who plays Bishop Rafi. I think his name is. Uh, and then was like, "No, no, no!" And it was I'm like, "There's too many spouses on this show. Like I have no idea." Yeah. I'm like, and then <laughs> yeah, it was just like, oh, "What the fuck is going on?" I was so confused, but yeah. Who That's knew? Wild. Uh, oh, no. oh my gosh. I love that. I love the behind this. Like, wow. The people that make this show, like, that's just so lovely. Anyway, I stand. Um, <laughs> so we have Mr. Saloon Man. Yeah, being what's his face? I love when I think dresses sure, fiance sure. the, the 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 bar guy i don't know he, wasn't he the evil guy this episode was yeah. like a week ago folks i don't listen i didn't watch it back since then it he was, he was the saloon remember. guy right yeah, like the, I think, yeah that was a sheriff guy wasn't the sheriff guy i thought diggle was or whatever was supposed to be the oh well, no Sh- diggle is the sheriff it was like the uh, they switched the, right the or something? yeah 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 it was the opposite he was the villain of the show. Let's just say that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> he was the villain yeah. of the episode. The villain. Thank the you. Um, <laughs> and David directed this episode too, right? Yeah. I thought he did a pretty good job, to be honest. I, when that creature thing came out of the ground, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like... Yeah. I was like, wow. All right. Yeah. Big... Yeah, I have to... Mm, they caught me off guard with that one, I have to say. I was like... Oh, so it's not the sheriff that I've hated this whole episode. I just hate him. Okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Good to know. Lovely. But I sorry, I know I just said this five minutes ago, but <laughs> David Ramsey with his ugly mustache, this big caterpillar he had on his butt. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's great. He must have been having a great time compared to like Legend or Arrow. Where he just had to, be, I'm not saying he had a bad time on Arrow, but like, you know, he was really just like all over. You need to go do this, man. Suck. And he's just like running around in a cowboy hat now with yeah. like a big mustache. Like, on his, like, <laughs> okay. Like, he, he must be having a blast. Jumping around too, jumping around all the different shows. That must be fun. Like, why not? Yeah. Man? Um. So, yeah, then we find out surprise the caterpillar thing feeds off like the anger. <laughs> of the townspeople and basically 
they that's why they stay so nice it wasn't i thought it was gonna be like a hypnosis kind of thing no they're like choosing to be nice which i think is interesting like they're they're just yeah, scared because i would they're die because like, mm. the guy controls the alien the alien thing so and he has that thing to summon it the whistle I think, thing, the whistle yeah. thing so he's yeah. that's why he's like in charge of the town because like you know mm-hmm. you cross him he'll kill you interesting you. yeah interesting concept um so naturally we have to have the reveal of sarah uh-huh Ooh. They're like, we're going to have a gunfight. First of all, Ava's a wreck. As she, she's like, I just got you back. What is wrong with you? Sarah's yeah. like, you know, I never lose a gunfight. I'm just like, or shootout, whatever she says. I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then he, evil guy, shoots Sarah right through the forehead. I know. I didn't need to see that at all. Thanks. Not once. I didn't need to see that once. We've been, um, t- we've been attacked so many times. And the writers are just like, let me just show you Sarah dying. Oh, sorry, Sarah, you know, with a bullet in her head. Or just one more time. Oh you know? God. We're tired. And I'm like, we you're lucky tired. that she's an alien hybrid. And you're lucky that she can do shit. And she has powers <laughs> now. They really said last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was, they were like, we literally cannot have sarah die anymore because it'd just be not surprising so they're just like we need to make her like immortal because she just yeah she is invincible she is a powerhouse she literally cannot die now she has to have i I think that should i think that might be one weakness i don't know what it is but everyone has a there's gotta be that'd be too op though which we've had problems with on the on uh what the heck is the show (laughs) legend i was gonna say the flash then i was gonna say arrow and i was like where am i um she's had problems with some crew members um as much as i love him my son (laughs) wally uh yeah just like he's too op he could just do everything in like two seconds and be done so or in firestorm we always had to split them up and it was yeah. like, oh man it doesn't work for some reason whoa so there's got to be something there but like do we think that she's like vampire immortal now or do we think she's oh. just like impervious to damage i i actually don't know i th- i think i need to know what alien did i mention what alien she is or like what alien she's like part Ava? of I think was it Ava? Gary, oh yeah, for the clone Avas. Um, maybe it was either Ava or Gary when they were like looking at her screen. Like I think when they were still on that pink planet, um, they were like, "Oh, maybe it could be this random alien creature," or it looks like that. But I don't think we know anything about that species. Maybe. Yeah. So um, I guess we're just gonna have to be on the journey and find out. Mm. But. So we know it has some I... generating power, regenerative powers. But do, does do you reckon? Yeah. Do you think she has like another power? Well, I heard Bishop. Alyssa, I'm clinging on to this because I just think it'd be cool that he said something about her having wings, her being able to fly. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she has wings, I swear I will literally pass away because mm-hmm. I would. That it's, that just is so cool to me. Wait, 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 wait. But the white canary though because she's a oh girl don't do not can you imagine she after all this time she can actually fly can you imagine a canary like bird that fly my light went out bye um uh, <laughs> but the lord's alive that... no really they're like cut the cameras we can't do this anymore stop literally though like that would be so tasty but imagine if they're just tiny little like butterfly, like they don't actually do anything. They're just like, hmm, you wanted wings, yeah, hmm. yeah. Here. Like, ooh, listen, I I feel kind of weird about it because I feel like so much of the appeal of Sarah is like she's so cool and she doesn't have any powers. Like that's what made her special. Like, well, like yeah. So now yeah. she has them. It's like, mm. but at the same time. It's a fresh take on her. It's a fun new thing to explore. So pros and cons, pros and cons, you know? Like, I don't know. Um, That's true. She's a queen anyways. She just can't oh, die. Yeah. She just can regenerate when she gets shot in the head. Love that. But yeah. everyone's reactions were like, what the fuck? 
Oh like, my that god! That was like what? Like that? Yeah. Mm. That was like the ooh, way it took cool. them three years for it to like fix itself. I hated it. You made me stare at that for far too long. Like <laughs> that's okay. It was I like didn't need the that. shock, and then it's like I was waiting for it to like close back up, and I was yeah. like, yeah, okay. Ugh. Y'all are nasty for that one. Anyway, um, and Ava's so- face again when she got shot. I'm like, I'm stressed. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna I show me pay. I'm done with that. No, literally. <laughs> I just I hate that for us. Um, so poor Ava girl, she just got this girl back, and she's like, "Yeah, let's see her get shot in the forehead." <laughs> Why not? You know. Yeah, bad. God, I hate that. Um. Also, also, wait, was it this episode that they talked about what alien it could be? I thought it was on the Pink Planet. Maybe not. Because Sarah has this weird obsession with cherries. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was this episode. What is up? I noticed with that. that. I would, she had, didn't have an appetite. She wasn't very hungry. And I'm like, girl, what's happening? Maybe yeah. it's like the alien DNA. Like, I don't know what it could be. Like, I don't know if it's anything yeah. bad, but it yeah. might. Let's just not forget that information for future mm-hmm. episodes, just in case. Yeah, it was weird because then she had like five milkshakes and i was like oh maybe she just has like a big appetite now like like barry and like cara do like they're like oh i need to consume thirty thousand calories but then they kept focusing on the cherries i was like so is this just a a quirky thing is it like giving us clues like i don't know but i guess we'll see obviously as the season progresses hopefully we'll get answers um yeah but also also let's not forget spooner and astra's stuff they had to do yeah i was about to say that the it's the friendship i didn't know i needed like why do they work so well with each other like they are everything yeah they're everything yep i'm just like holy crap like their dynamic i love them yeah hello like you're right they're iconic And what I'm saying is date. That's all I'm saying. What? Anyway. Um, but. Let the, come the on. It'd be can so we cute. Ship, can we ship it 100%? Yes. Uh, I mean, the answer to, is like yes to almost anything that we say. Any yeah. possible combination. Yeah. We're like. <laughs> don't be shy. Um. But they had some really fun development because basically they hated each other for most of this episode. Yeah. Obviously, we get the classic um, new legends uh, and they're trying to work together, figure out how to work with each other. And now they're just like in love. And you know what? Exactly. Exactly. The dynamic I didn't know I needed. Now I need more of it because I'm like, they are incredible. Very more cute. Of that place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Also, Bayrod and Zari had some fun development. Yeah, um, they did. Which was nice. I do appreciate that. And so Love me from Bayrod and, and Zari. Boy. Yes. Boy. Um, especially because I feel like for certain episodes they tend to go back to us all the time. And I'm like, I get it. He loves his pot, guys. I get it. <laughs> but sometimes that's like all they give him. So I'm glad that we actually had something about his the rest of his personality well, and true. his history yeah um with zari and how she's like worried about him loki and it's like cute and i love them i love the tarazis i also love miss tomas don't be shy yeah speaking of they had a whole thing with nate like blowing up and like yes they full nate let loose and honestly it's about time because i feel like he just hasn't had an, a, an explosion of emotions yet and i feel like yeah. this was his chance to like just go off and he good went off and i'm like you know what i support you good for him I this is what he needed him. to do I, yes. and my crush on him just gets bigger and bigger every time i see him on the screen no, and right. you know what's so you're funny right. the other night i was oh. watching Final Destination number four. And oh, he was in it and he was looking good. And I'm like, sir, this isn't allowed. Yeah, he died in the movie, but like, he just, he's so hot. It's, it's a joke. 
Um, <laughs> but anyways, that's the besides the point. I just love this. I don't know. I just love Nick Van. I just think he's, you know, incredible. He's great. Like, he really, he really is. Like, he just did that whole like, expl- you know, blowing up with emotions thing like so well, and like, yeah, he's gone through like so much shit. Really, when you think about it, like he's gone through a lot, and he's always pretty chill about it. But he just said he was like, you know what? Let me just, what well, he's like while I'm here, let me just go rah rah rah. Like say his piece, I support the king. Thank you. Mhm. Mhm. You're right. You know what? <laughs> we like perfect way to do it honestly yeah. where it's like sure have him yell when we just don't need him to yell but you know what i support him you're right this is exactly what he needed to do he needed to do this for like literal years like yeah. actual seasons he needed to talk about this and i hope next episode they do actually go into that a little more it's not just kind of a i hope so because i ended the theme. with him getting to visit zari in the toad in which i was like don't I... be shy show me the reunion i know piece. that's like, don't be shy tala's there you can do it now it's like it's not like i know. can't get her as a guest star like she's there like, yeah literally like, there. like don't be shy show me if I get it next episode, I'm gonna die. Just say, because like <gasps> they're my everything. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly. So, oh my gosh. God bless. The Tarazis did that. Yeah. I love that. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Beautiful, stunning. I love this concept. Oh, now show us. Cowards. But like, <laughs> and he's gonna come back, be like, Zari says hi guys. Like don't like don't i know i want to you know? see it like if i if it was like another guest star like okay because it's but also that yes there, i want to see like show mm-hmm. me you're right listen guys i want the opening to the next episode on this honestly though. anyway <laughs> i can just say how astro and spooner destroyed the monster like it was them like they did oh my gosh like the icons. queens i'm like literal icons boys i mm-hmm. stand Mm-hmm. you know how we kind of dragged astro to the beginning like where does she fit in she fits in perfectly now we take it back we never said anything yeah she's bad. doing it she's, she's queen yeah. and that's it. i never said anything bad about her <laughs> no literally literally she's doing it to him i love that and again yeah. my question yeah. is where why do we need constantine well his story with that phantom fountain of imperium thing I uh, yeah, and that's why him and Gary, because Gary knows shit about it. So yeah, more... that's true. I do like when he works with Gary. Yeah, that's true. I Fine. think I think, Constantine, <laughs> Fine. I think Constantine missed Gary. Come on, they were like dancing together for a little bit because he was trying to like get information out of Gary. Okay, but that was still you know having a little dance. That were cute. It's cute. Like, come the on, dance was so cute. It was act, I love right? it. It was actually so cute and. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite moments, Ava and Sarah have a little bit of a romantic scene. Sarah talks according to episode eight. I was like, Hello. I think we've been ill, but like we yeah. knew. But like, come yeah. on. My little we baby. Sighed. Oh. Mm-hmm. Le- mm-hmm. Like the Legends writers really just put the Supergirl writers to shame at this point. Like it's embarrassing. I when know. You, when you think about it, it's embarrassing. I know. But anyways, that's for the Supergirl podcast. But um Yup. Tune in for that, folks. Um, also, we got some music in this episode. Quite a bit of music with mm. the guitar situation. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. It was pretty fun. And then they brought him onto the ship. So dumb. I was like, they brought okay, him back yeah. on the ship. It was like, I feel like it was a real good fun episode. It's like, it's, yeah. that's the thing with Legends. Like, it feels like it's a filler episode, but at the same time, it's not. Because, like, obviously, all yeah. the things with Ava and Sarah happen, you know, tell her, telling her about the coin and everything. Her revealing to the group mm-hmm. that she was a human, a, a, an alien human hybrid, whatever. It's like it was a filler, but not a filler. Like if you miss it, you miss a lot. Yeah. And you just watch for the dynamics if, of you know all the characters and everything. And, yeah. Like, made if it, it has it. character development and dynamics, it's, it's not, not a filler, a filler exactly. episode. And that's I think Legends <laughs> knows how to do their episodes good because they only have fifteen episodes a season, which I think is plenty for them. Like yeah, they just, I agree. They don't need to do any bullshitting. They just get right to the point. Like they have exactly. fun episodes, but also they keep it along the main story. And I'm just like, hearing now, obviously the fountain, the fountain 
of Imperium. Fuck, I'm gonna get confused. <laughs> like, is that gonna be the story for the second half? And is Bishop really gone, or will he come back Ooh. later? Because it's interesting. Because it's like we seem to be going on this fountain story, which is cool. But That's, is Bishop yeah. gonna maybe make an appearance at the end, or like, or you know, I don't know. But it's a lot to think about. Yeah. So. Listen. Also, like now that I'm thinking about it, it makes sense. It, it doesn't, like, it really doesn't matter at all. But, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, it makes sense that Bishop is so sing-songy because Tala is, like, Miss Singer, yeah. whatever. So he's probably like that, too. He's probably just, like, going off. You yeah. Know what? I love that. Love but that I kind of like that he is like that. Like, he makes that such an interesting Oh, I love like, it. I, I do. Like, I actually really love Bishop, surprisingly. He is interesting. I, I am, I want him back. I want more of him, honestly. Yeah, I think we need to bring him back. He was short-lived. Didn't yeah really it was very interesting also yeah i agree i remember like a few years ago um when they would announce like shorter seasons i'd be like why like what the heck like the more episodes the better like i don't care like just give me more content which in my head is like yeah give me literally if you gave me 50 episodes of the show i'd be like heck yeah like i'm gonna watch all of them but like in reality, now I'm like, ooh, 16 episodes? Yeah. Solid. Like, because CW loves a filler, you know? Who's surprised? Um, yeah. That, yeah, and that's like, like 20 episode seasons, kind of. Yeah, like 20, 22 episodes is yeah. like, nice. it's, they can't just, handle it. I used to be like, yeah, give me a show that has like five seasons, like 22 episodes a season. Like, I need a show. Yeah like that but now like tv's changed like the way people watch tv have changed like since the introduction mm-hmm. of like netflix and everything and the streaming mm-hmm. services with the 10 episode seasons and like hour-long episodes like it's enough content like it's enough there's no bullshitting around you get straight to the point yeah mm-hmm. our fill is good sometimes 100 mm-hmm. percent. so like it's like it depends but with the cw i feel you like have too many though like 22 yeah, there's, episodes yeah, there's, there's too much room for there's errors. too many and then when there's too many episodes it makes a it can make a great season a good season because you have too many unnecessary episodes I'm yes. like, what's the point you know and yeah, they, don't, don't, they don't try hard enough you know to i don't know yeah. it's weird but i feel like legit 16 episodes is like perfect even 13 episodes yeah. is pretty solid i think mm-hmm. Yeah, so, honestly, right now they're hitting a pretty good sweet spot with it. I they think know. so. The legends, they know their episode. Yeah, they know what the round, they know what to do. Like it's good, so I appreciate it. So, yeah, more of that. True. But yeah, I think that's anyway, about that's it, right? Boring. Life. I don't think anything else happened. If I can't remember, I don't think that. I think that was it. Um, I think Mick was sad about Kayla, but you know. Oh yeah, yeah, surprised. yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. we figured. Besides that, yeah, I think we covered it all. And but it was a really happy good episode. Avalanche. I know. Yeah. I just want them to be happy now. Like, I just... Oh. It's what I want. I just want <sighs> them to be happy. They're and back. There's no episode next week. Yeah. Oops. It's, oh, it's, <laughs> on a, it's on a break, so there will be no Legends podcast next week because obviously there's no episode. Um, yeah. Forgot about that. And literally, I'm the one from America. Like... Uh, <laughs> like I'm like, me planning what? my schedule. I'm like, what am I doing this week? And I'm like, oh, it's good when I get a bit of a break. And yeah, it's just yeah. It's nice sometimes when it's like so. One fun. week is good, but you know what I hate is when you're like super invested. It's like a big cliffhanger, and then it's like coming back in four months, and I'm like, CW AKA, loves to do that. You mean start, just just add Supergirl? Don't be shy. Like, but like not, we knew it was coming though. Yeah, no, that's like true. Supergirl. I knew was coming, but like I feel like CW I, you know, yeah. loves to do that. I feel like I would have really? actually preferred maybe Supergirl to come back and have all their episodes come out at once. Not at once, but like without the break, because I know they only did it because of Superman and Lois. So I feel like it yeah. would have started. It would have begun oh! now. But, oh, we'll talk about it for the Supergirl podcast. Never okay. mind. Remember okay. how I told you there was like. Tea last week with like Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah. Tell me the we got it. it. Somebody Ooh. gave it to us. Oh mm. god bless. Well on anyway. that note, guys, that was our <laughs> Legends of Tomorrow episode 608 recap discussion. 
another <laughs> great episode. Legends on at this point doesn't fail to disappoint. Like it always is. Yeah. It's always up there. Like honestly, it'd be more surprising if it was bad. Than really. Cool. But yeah, if it was a bad episode, we're like, oh, but you know what? It keeps up the standard. It's good. Plot twists are good. Everyone, it's like everything's just on. They're just nailing it every single time. <laughs> and usually, love this, this show. You know, usually, <laughs> when the shows go this long, they like kind of. Yeah, the like, legends is thriving. Like very go surprising. Off, like, go off. Yeah, go Something off. Yeah. Go oh off. Like, God. do you? I'm. I support you all. So yeah. amazing. <laughs> That's it again. Watch our reactions and comment. Oh all wait, that we didn't stuff. Read oh, oh, comment time. <laughs> Oops. Every single week, I go. Wait, I forgot about the YouTube comments that we do every single week. You know, maybe I should just leave it open at this point because <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, legends. Okay. Oh my gosh. Somebody said, I love how for the first 20 minutes, the two of you are just sitting around making up awesome fan fiction. <laughs> You're right. You know, you I know honestly, we, CW hire us. Like, what are you doing? You know, true. At this point um uh, first off love the commentary thanks thank we you the episode was amazing i really do love these writers and how much they really care for the story and characters so much exactly True. same yep it had everything 100%. including good story writing action love and an amazing way to do a reunion sorry supergirl writers yes. taking some legends just saying facts literal facts thank you the comment is correct True. accurate Accurate. This is how you do a proper ship and have it end in a beautiful way, especially yep. during the month of Pride Month. Yes. Period. period. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Also, they have a theory. Oh, this is a wolfman, by the way. Um, this will include some spoilers for this episode in episode eight, as I'm writing this after the episode aired, so be wary. Okay. I'm curious on who the main villain will be in the back half of the season. We already have Bishop, who may still be alive, which I love your theories on him taking on Gideon and or the ship. That'd be cool as heck! Anyway. It would um, be. It would be. And Kayla, who might get revenge, maybe even Bishop's lair and use it to travel back to the legends. But we also have Crowley, who might play a part with his magic. And John may be in future episodes since we know he's going after that fountain. So who knows? That is so true. I didn't even think of that guy. Yeah, yeah that painting but man. He's yeah. I thought it was like a one-off and one -off. I was like, no, no, no. You're yeah, like, they, they talked about him this episode too. Yeah, they did. He has right? to go because he has the map, right? Of yeah. where the fountain is. That is really true. Maybe Crowley could help Bishop obtain his goal on humanity while he has his fun with John Ooh. and Astro. You know what I would really love, actually? I, you know, when like two storylines seem to be really separate, but then they like connect. Yeah. I would oh, love. Oh, that is so right? tasty. Oh my gosh. Like, what does that, found, that fountain would it would re uh, restore his magic, right? And like what else does it do? It's an alien. Uh, yeah. thing. It's a, it's an alien fountain magic thing, right? Is it alien? Oh, it oh. Hold on, my phone just like slams on the computer. <laughs> I'm going to okay. quickly look it up. Fountain of Imperium. I thought it was like a Greek mythology type of situation. But I don't know. I just like a guess. So I actually have no clue. Is it real? Has it been seen in history before? Who knows? Um. Uh, but, but, okay, it's in uh, the Phantom of Imperium. Um, for seemingly oh, hold on, blah 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 blah. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to find the actual like thing. Important. Yeah. Yeah. Crowley described the fountain as a well of unexplored, untapped, and unstoppable magic and an unlimited source of power. I'm pretty sure, mm -hmm. though, that he said alien in that, in the show. Like, he said it was, like, an alien magic. I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. he said that. It's somewhere deep in space, so obviously it's in it's an alien that's... fountain. It's in space, so it's clearly it's alien. All right, that's fair, I guess. Yeah. Well... That that is I completely oh that's gonna be really interesting to have him back too um especially because John has no way to defend himself against him now so that's yeah. lovely um we got cell dweller fangirl said don't know how I feel about Sarah being a hybrid 
I feel like they could have given her a storyline without killing her yet again. I know she's still Sarah, seeing her consciousness and memories are still there, but her OG body is gone, which depresses me. We'll see how the story goes and what the writers have in store. Yeah. I also, it also depresses me. I Do, okay. I have a theory. Do you think because of this fountain of Imperium is like all magic on on whatever, do you reckon it can bring Sarah's original body back? Like it can fix Sarah? Not that she has to be fixed, but do you think mm-hmm. it could like heal her or like make her non alien or something? But then we'd have like two though, unless yeah, we'd like non alien this one. Like it fixes her clone body, but she's not alien anymore. She's just a clone. Mm. Maybe. Maybe it ties in somehow. Like, I don't know. Hey, that'd hey, be not, fun. Because doesn't Bishop still have her old body? Her original body? That's true. On the ship. But the ship blew up. So is her body, like, gone? Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> but, like, did it, though? Like, what blew up? Well, like, look, we what, what the was rule safe? Is, if you don't see... Or maybe we did see the dead body. But if you don't see it, like, explode... All going to ash, then maybe the body I don't believe it. There. Yeah, I don't if know. Shows, I yeah, don't know. maybe if Kayla's shows, unless you see it, mm-mm. even if yeah. you do see it sometimes, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not true. I just think there's more to this. I don't think they would have introduced Bishop or something and then the fountain if it wasn't going to connect. Mm. So I still mm. think there's a, there's a connection there somewhere. I don't know what it is, but if it's in space, maybe Bishop's also going to look for it to take over the universe i don't know <laughs> i don't know all right go off go off i guess, guess we'll find out um all right then we got trey ranger over here definitely think either bishop or kayla or maybe both will show up again before the end of the season oh, all yeah. those ava clones are still on the planet won't they have to turn the power back on at some point are all the clones anti-bishop now or are any of them still loyal to him what if bishop comes back and then finds kayla and clones are Mm. guys it's always nice to get to see Mick's soft side he's really grown on me and it'll be sad to have to say goodbye to another OG this season that is true dang like Sarah's really gonna be the only one left and even then you have the argument of like it's not really the OG Sarah but like I'm pretty sure I read I think one of the synopsis for like the future episodes was like Sarah and Lita like talk to Mick about his sickness or something. So I think Mick gets sick or something. Oh, no. Um, I'm not pretty, good. I, look, he's searching this again. Aye, aye, aye. But mm-hmm. I swear to God. It's not a podcast episode without it. Without us searching up something. I am I read it. I'm telling you. I full read it. Yeah. Dang. I don't like that concept. But maybe the... um. Maybe the fountain can heal Mick or something. Yeah, I just can't say that. Like, maybe. Let me see if I can find it. Episode 10 set is called the, is the, with Constantine obsessed with getting his powers back, he convinced the Spooner to join him on a quest to find the fountain. Fountain? I can't speak English. <laughs> of Imperium. After they find themselves at the end of the Spanish Civil War, Spooner makes an unexpected bond with someone she feels the need to protect for them from everyone, including Constantine. Ooh. Now that they have a special guest on board, the Wave Rider, Nate, Azari, Berard, Gary, and Astra, all work together but experience some growing pains along the way. Meanwhile, Sarah and Lita are concerned about Rory's health, so they try to convince him to take it seriously. So I'm stressed. So Mick's oh, gonna no. maybe something's gonna happen to Mick. Maybe maybe it's his liver because he keeps drinking alcohol. I don't know. Yeah. But maybe. I'm stressed. What episode is that? Episode ten. So episode nine oh. which is the next episode. Yeah. Um Oh no. <laughs> uh Berard is disappointed because the legends have forgotten his birthday. So oh! oh that's my child. So when they track an alien pot to 2024 and wind up at his favorite television sitcom, he thinks it's oh, it's really a surprise for him. Feeling guilty. Oh! I know I'm gonna actually cry. Feeling guilty, oh! Nate and Zari occupy Berard by keeping up the ruse by attending a taping of the show. While Ava, Spooner, and Astra try to find the alien to get the timeline back on track, which proves challenging. Meanwhile, Rory's behavior has been a little off, so Sarah and Gary become determined to find out what happened. But Rory gets some unexpected news from his daughter, Lita. 
So it's like a. I feel like it's gonna. Mm-hmm. Nick's story is gonna like carry on. Yeah. But it's the way Berard's birthday is. I'm done. My oh, child. My lord. How do you forget my son's birthday? Oh, it's our boy. Oh my. <laughs> He's gonna disrespect my That's son. That's why they're in, in the sitcom. <laughs> Okay. That oh, makes but sense. less. You know what? Give me the Berard content on people at, at this point. Sorry. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um. Uh, they also said I really liked Sarah and Spooner's sweet moment at the bar. Yep. True. Just yep. more evidence yep. that all the legends yep. are Avalanche's children. Mm-hmm. Uh, I for sure think that Sarah and Spooner will have some kind of alien connection. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe, I maybe. mean, we literally, yeah, like they well, do she kind of connected have to her before, so you never who die. Yeah. Um. Also interested slash worried about seeing Sarah's new alien powers. What all did Bishop do to her? Well, uh, not Zari swooning over the bad timeline. Nay, who's dressed like Constantine? Yeah, literally. Oh my gosh. Then they also talked about the reunion. Said it was everything they deserved. Full shade to Supergirl. <laughs> <laughs> I love the super girl show. Like, I actually do really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, up. they got a uh, John saying he doesn't need his magic as long as he still has Zari. Felt gross to me. Of course, it's always good to be grateful for the things we do have, but it was just giving me season two Kara vibes when she was like, "I don't need to be a reporter. Being Monel's girlfriend and being Supergirl is enough." Which it's never enough. You gotta have your own interests and your own personality outside of someone else's partner. Mm. True. Do that not is disagree. True. Do not disagree. Listen. <laughs> Any of the Constantine Azari ranting, I'm just like, good points, good points. Yeah, let me, mm-hmm. yeah, let me write it down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's good stuff. That's that's what we got. So, I agree. Anyway, good episode. Uh, Next beautiful. episode. Oh, I'm gonna oh be my, my feels for Berard, my child. I'm gonna be my feels. Like, watch yourself. Thank um, you. he's coming mm-hmm. for us. It's fine. Must be our child's coming for us. Love that. Um, mm-hmm. so yeah, guys, that was our little discussion. Let you comment some comment stuff about in this episode six or eight, and we'll read them out in two weeks time so guys enjoy your day and we'll see you guys for the super god podcast if you watch that have a good night ciao for now i don't have to end these ciao for now i don't know bye <laughs> bye guys bye guys That's what you do. <laughs>